Five years old and all smiles until one day she vanished. The case of Jesse Shockley haunting Arizonans. The little girl reported missing in October of 2011. Despite a 96 day search of a landfill, her remains were never found. Shockley's mother, Jerese Hunter, convicted in her murder, now serving a life sentence. Still, a decade later, what happened to Jesse is a question without a clear answer. ABC 15's Nicole Gray getting new insight and searching for answers tonight. This was an at-home video of Jesse Shockley, who never got to see her sixth birthday. After she vanished, her mother questioned by Glendale detectives about the lack of emotion during an interrogation. You not cried one time. You're saying you love this girl, but you don't cry one time. Jesse's mother, Jerese Hunter, later convicted in her presumed death. She was sentenced to life in prison back in 2015, but a body never recovered. Glendale police telling us since that conviction, they're not aware of any new tips that have come in on the case. Where's Jesse Shockley? That's the question that everybody wants the answer to. Even 10 years later, everybody wants the answer to that question. A lawyer for Shockley's family filed a notice of claim years after the little girl went missing against Children Protective Services. But the family could never move forward with that lawsuit. Dwayne Kate says the system failed Jesse. Her mom was in prison for child abuse and torture in California, and when she got out of prison, they just handed her Jesse back. Her family was like saying, no, we'll take care of her. They were, they were devastated that they had to give her up. A criminal attorney for two decades, Kate says he still remembers the details of this heartbreaking case. And he says, although we think we know what happened to Shockley, there's still a lot of unknowns. I think it's pretty clear that she was murdered. But, you know, exactly how she was murdered, when she was murdered, where she was murdered, and where she put her body, we may never know. We reached out to Glendale Police about this case. They say that most of the detectives who were a major part of the investigation have since retired. The department says it would bring great peace to the community if her body was ever located. Reporting in Phoenix, Nicole Grigg, ABC 15, Arizona. Nicole, thanks. Jesse's family returning our call late tonight. They say they believe Jesse is in heaven. And they feel Glendale police got this case right, that the correct person is in prison.